Hi, I'm Eric Westrich, and you're watching Startup Show San Diego, a startup TV show about startup companies. We're at Startup Week in San Diego, another year, and we are at Startup HQ, which this year is at WeWork Cowork. And spoiler alert, the person next to me is hiring, so stay tuned and you'll find out how you may have a new job at a great place. But we're with Josh Comenda, president and founder of AO. Josh, welcome. Thanks, Eric. Great to be Good. here. Good. We saw you last year and a lot was going on. I think you were hiring then, too. So a company that's, that's growing and hiring must be doing something right, but take us back to the genesis. What was that like? Like, let's say you're having a conversation, hey, I've got this idea. <laughs> Talk about what annoyed you enough or bothered you enough or you felt so strongly about that you had to start a company about? Absolutely. Well, I think uh, about three or four years ago, we started having discussions around what we call the NEMT industry, the non-emergency medical transportation industry. And this basically helps folks get to doctor's appointments. Um, often folks who have transportation challenges like elderly, disabled, um, low-income folks that may not have a car in the family. Um, and we started talking about social determinants of health. And we learned that 3.6 million Americans miss or delay health care every year because of transportation issues specifically. And what's that like for them? What's, what's the cause when they miss a, a doctor's appointment? Or well, well, often, you know, these are often folks who have chronic conditions or seriously ill. They may be on dialysis and, and can't drive or they don't have a, a vehicle in the family. Um, and when somebody misses an appointment, especially for a serious condition like end-stage renal disease, um, missing dialysis can be a matter of life and death. Um, also, missing appointments you know, causes things to not get diagnosed as quickly, causes issues with compliance. Um, so basically it gets people sicker, their health problems more complex, um, outcomes worse, they don't live as long. Um, and ultimately, it even costs more to taxpayers as well. People who can't, even people who do have health insurance, if they can't access it properly, their health problems become more complex, they end up in the ER, and it's a vicious cycle. Well, obvi obviously, you're passionate about that, I can tell by the way you talk. Why did you decide to do something about it? Well, I had, I had been uh, working for years in the technology industry and then the technology and the transportation industry. Um, and I start to see, sought to see um, companies like Uber and Lyft sort of reinvent the consumer space, right? In the last five years, consumers have come to expect a totally different standard for quality of the ride, reliability, uh, timeliness, cost. Um, and as we sort of understood, understood the, the NEMT space on the other side of transportation, we realized that many of the problems that consumers used to see were still plaguing that space. Um, so we thought, we've got to adapt this technology and these new operational models to work more effectively uh, and really help you know, control healthcare costs, improve people's lives, um, and get, you know, get, get a much better system. So, so uh, do they get you directly or do they get you through their insurance? How do you end up servicing the, your customers? We generally don't service the general public today. So we are a business to business or business to government service. Um, essentially for low income folks that are Medicaid recipients, um, they already qualify for transportation assistance. So if they don't have a vehicle in the family, um, you know, they get, spot, they get rides care, given to them. Um, but still, those 3.6 million Americans miss their appointments. The rides show up late, the drivers don't show up at all, people get stranded after their appointment. Um, it's really a very messy system. So where are you focused today? So most of your time as president, CEO, what's your number one job? My number one job is finding talent. Um, we have some incredible people um, working at Veo. We've some brought, brought in some you know, amazing, hardworking, intelligent, smart people. Um, but the pace at which we're growing, the, the demand for our product and service is, has really been almost exponential over the past few years. Um, and as we continue to scale the organization, um, I see my number one job is finding the right people to help us do that. So tell me about the people that work at Veo. What has somebody told you personally who works for you that made you feel like you're building the right team or you're doing the job right? Um, you know, there's really like there's really two things that I think are, are make working. Can you give me a can you give me a personal example? A personal example. Somebody. Um, yeah. So, so single them out. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we have, we'll embarrass uh, them. We have a <laughs> we have a person, a, a woman named Bridget Bridget, in our, who's our director of supply, uh, incredibly valuable employee. Um, and one thing, you know, she commented on, you know, the number one thing that I love about working at Veo is getting to work with really smart, dedicated, passionate people. Um, and I think just having that environment, um, it's, so much, it's so much easier and empowering to show up at a job every day when you go into work and you're working with other people that care just as much, are just as, you know, can be, are so talented and hardworking and solving real important problems. 
And so who are you looking for? What kind of people are you looking to hire? You know, we're really, we're really hiring in, in a number of different divisions right now. So in our operations folks, um, we're looking at from everything from uh, command center agents or, or customer support agents um, through more you know, operations executive positions, um, people help to build, build our supply and driver network. Um, and then on our technology side, we're looking for you know, skilled engineering folks, mobile dev, mobile dev full stack engineers, um, testers, um, product managers, et cetera. And if somebody wants to apply for uh, work at Veo, how do they do that? The best thing is to, uh, is to visit us at Veo.com and click on the career section. Thank you very much. Thank you for what you do. Thanks so much, Eric. And thank you for watching. All right.